Tell me what was your response yesterday when you found out the, when you got the great news. I, I, I could have thought I was speechless, so. You're speechless for how long? <laughs> Couple seconds. Couple seconds. Okay, so then when you compose yourself now and you came back to reality, what did you say to, to your mommy and your daddy? Um, I said thank you and for helping me throughout my entire school year to get me to this point. Okay, so speaking about helping you, tell me what was preparing for the examination like for Naila. How was life like for you for the past couple of years? Well, you start from class three, right? How was life like for you? I did all my homework, which was pretty simple. My mother signed me up for lessons, which was from Monday and Wednesdays. Um, when I couldn't understand questions, I would ask my teacher, and like for homework, I would ask my mother. Okay. How was the examination for you? It felt like one of the mock tests that my school did for us. So they gave us mock tests every other week leading up to the examination day. So it felt like one of those mock tests. Okay, what did you enjoy about the exam? You had any challenges at all? Um, not really. Not really. The grammar. The grammar and mathematics were always easy for me. It's just comprehension. I have a hard time answering questions. Especially okay. the ones that ask me what I think and not that they're not in the passage. So what are you doing to celebrate? This is this is a major accomplishment for you. What are you so doing? I overheard that my mother might be planning something with me and my friends because one of my friends went to Parsons College and the other one got into Queens College with me. Um, I would like to go to Starbucks to get like a fresh candy. Um, yeah, that's it. And that's it. What are your plans for the future? What do you 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 think you have you thought about what you want to be in life as yet? I started crocheting and I really like it. I've made a couple of things. I've made like hat and booties for the babies. Um, I'm starting to make like a beach cover up. Any other careers you're looking at? Mm, like a fashion designer to design clothes. So you want to be a fashion designer? At least that's on your mind, but you still have time, still young. Okay. Any plans for when you go to Queen's College? And why did you want to go to Queen's College? I heard they they do netball there and it's like I used to play netball at West Terrace. Um and also it's very close to my home so I can just walk there. Okay. So you like sports? Yes, please. Well specifically netball. Specific netball. So what else does Naila like doing? What else do you like to do? I do I go to the dancing, which is Pilot's Creative Workshop. Did you have to give up any of those activities while preparing for the exam? No, I did, I did some performances while preparing for the examination, and I was also practicing for a netball tournament, which was two days after the exam. Wow, so you, you had a packed schedule and still came out on top. Very well done. Anything else you want to add? Um, thank you and my teachers mm -hmm. and my parents for helping me. On the note of thanking parents, uh, mom and dad, do you have anything you want to say? Are you surprised? Or did you expect? Surprised. You know she would have done well. But the, being in the top 10, we were pleasantly surprised and very proud of her. So we will just continue to encourage her to do well, stay focused, and we know bigger things will continue to come. Did you have to apply any extra pressure during the exam time? Or um, she? No, she, she's very, once she knows she has work to do, she's, she is determined to do her work first. But once she's finished that work, it is hard then to get her to focus, but she's focused when she has the work to do, and when it's time downtime, she wants her downtime. Mm -hmm. so. What about you, Dad? Um, I mean, honestly, it is you know an achievement along the journey, and it's, it's just glad to see her in the, in the top ten and all the. It's it's not something you see every day in terms of uh, uh, that experience, uh, but uh, proud of her, and this one here coming up is along the same way. She's following her sister as well.